Hello everyone, welcome back to Closer to Be Milkshake Diagnose Narcissist here and we're going to talk about how important it is for you to have indifference towards somebody who has caused chaos and fucked with your life. We feed off of the chase of your compliance. We have a dopamine deficit <laughs> usually and we the chase to get you to comply and fall in line is the excitement that we get from you once you have complied and you're just overdoing you become boring and that's when the abuse will take place or you know we'll leave cheat groom a new partner whatever of course there's deeper psychological bullshit that goes along with that but we're not going to talk about that right now also, we feed off your pain. If you are upset about the breakup, if you wanna go on a smear campaign yourself, which is truth telling to you, and start talking mass shit about us online, you do you, but I'm telling you, you are still connected to us. And if you are letting us see that, we are feeding off your pain. What we do not want is to be forgotten. Indifference is our kryptonite. You going dark or you not talking about it, that's our kryptonite. You posting your glow up may get you a hoover, but I think your glow up is for me. I think you want me back. I think you're trying to get me back. And this is why you're doing the glow up. And this is my grandiosity, I'm fucking better than everybody else, I'm, any sadistic shit inside of me is just smiling. You're so broken. You're so broken that you have to go and do all this shit just to get my attention. What you want to do is you do not want to care. You get rid of fucking friends and mutuals of this person. You do not want them to know what's going on. And then they're going to be like, what the fuck are they doing? What are they doing? Where are they going? What are they blah, blah, blah. This will cause emotional distress in the narcissistic person. You're not causing any chaos and drama. So we are going to be like, what the fuck? after the relief period that you're gone. There is always a relief period that the drama is gone from you, you're done bitching and complaining, and we're gonna be fucking fine for a little while. This is when a narcissistic man or woman will go off and try to fill their, fill their void with other fun bullshit or get laid or whatever. Now, that doesn't fix anything, and they will think about you later down the road. But if you're still, so I'm in pain, and fuck them, and they did the cheat, and they blah, blah, you know, we're just like, yeah, you keep on your little pain tour, and when you're upset, that makes me calm. When you're, I, when you're fake and joy, I think you think like me. So when I'm masking, I think you're masking. You can't make me think different. But if you disappear and I don't know what you're doing and I don't know what you're thinking, that's what fucks me up. So take whatever you want from this and build a fucking better life away from trying to punish or beg or shame because if you're not just dealing with a narcissist if you're dealing with somebody who's psychopathic he's jerking off watching you hurt and if it's a woman okay all right hope that was helpful have a great day namaste